All right, so in this video, we'll be making a blouse as shown here. So to start, select your character, choose your cloth type and click on new cloth. It will take you into this mode where you can set these vertices um, where you want them to be, the neck, the chin, the shoulder, the nipple, the elbow, the wrist and the pelvis. So for a top, you don't need the hip or the knee. You can just leave those and click on generate top it will create these rings and these are what you will now use to shape your cloth before it's generated so for, for instance the neck here is kind of tight so we're just going to make this circle a bit small like so for the shoulder it's also a bit smaller than here so you can set that size like so for the biceps you can bring it here to about four arm length from the reference image and yeah um, you might want to tilt this a little bit towards that arm and for the waist you can see it's kind of like a crop top so we'll drag it upwards position it nicely and scale it like so Great. Um, the sleeve might come up inverted. I'm going to click on generate top. It didn't. Uh, I'm just going to try to recreate the error. So in case you run into it. Because um, sometimes it does come inverted like that. Yeah. So if this happens, just undo and try to make the shoulder circle point more towards the bicep circle and then click generate and it should work so there we go so this is the base top and it starts like this so you can now use painting to shape it properly um, we'll click on paint shrink wrap and you can paint this area you can see it was kind of poking out like this once you paint it it goes onto the character a bit more you can paint the back and if it's not um, fully on the character when you paint it just go under the under the shrink wrap modifier hold shift and drag the offset a bit more uh, yeah so I put these parts as well although when you play the simulation it will still poke out but um, for a start you just want the shape of the cloth to be you know how it's supposed to be so I'll just paint here a little bit and increase the offset a little bit and for this part as well like so now when you play the animation or when you play it i'm going to put this armature in press alt h to unhide everything and i'll put this in rest mode or rest position when you play it you can see the cloth drops onto the character lovely so now we're going to do we're going to extrude this part a little bit more just to bring out this um cuff area here and to add seams you can select a loop press ctrl e and mark sharp it will create this cut like this so you can also do that for the wrist here mark sharp and for the neck we can extrude that part out a little bit and then also here we can add that shop um, edge you can also sculpt it instead of the shrink wrap modifier so i'm going to, just going to you can hold control to remove the shrink wrap and then just go into sculpt mode and perhaps inflate that area with your normal sculpting tools as opposed to using the shrink wrap all right so now we can get into now that, now that the shape of the cloth um, seems to be okay let me just shrink wrap this place a little bit more as well you can also use the smooth brush um, to smoothen out um, if there's any rough areas like here for instance once you use a smooth brush it will smoothen it out so that's what that does and you could do here as well but sometimes it cancels the shrink wrap so yeah well, now that the shape is okay, we can play the simulation 
and we might want to pin some areas for instance you want this cuffs pinned to the character so you can select them these loops in edit mode and assign them to the pinning group or you can paint uh, pinning onto those areas like that but it's more reliable to when you're pinning specific areas like this it's more reliable to just assign them in edit mode in edit mode um, this part of the neck as well we might want to pin that uh, yeah so when you play it now you can see that those areas are stiff now for this cloth um, you can see this area is a bit inflated per se so you can paint inflation onto it to deflate just click but to inflate hold control and then paint so I'm going to reduce the strength of this brush and just paint some inflation around here you can see it's all along the sleeve this area and then this area is much more inflated than the rest let's turn that down a little And when you play it, you can see the whole sleeve has inflated. So we might want to inflate this area a bit more. I think that's the maximum. And if you've reached the maximum and it's still not enough, like this one, then you can simply just remove the shrink wrap from this area. And you can just, either in edit mode, you can scale it up a little bit. scale it up a little so that will help it or in sculpt mode you can inflate as well I think I want that area just a little bit bigger so bigger I think that paper is okay yeah when you play it I think that's more than enough so we have this uh, geometry so far um, if you play the animation right now it will not be bound to the character as you can see it's acting a bit weird so you just have to come under the design tab and click on bind um, sorry click on the cloth click on bind yeah and it's now be bound to the character on the places that you have pinned so so far so good this is not bad this is not bad so um what we want next is you can also enable the subsurface modifier which is here is disabled for for performance when you enable that you can see it's much smoother and if you increase the the subdivision levels it's even smoother so another thing we'd want to do to get this um, pulling of the cloth you can come on the painting and what we're going to do is deflate this area so you're going to paint this place a hard red so you can see this whole part of the cloth is going to be pulling or deflating so it's like pulling everything around it and the neck as well and then for this whole area we want it inflated so this place expands, I'm going to just reduce the strength on that. Hold control and paint inflation, so this place kind of floats up. And let's see how that behaves. So you can press play and it kind of it has that effect. So there's not too much geometry for it to work with. If there's more, it will perform better, which we can do by increasing the subdivision level over here by one and when you increase when you change the geometry on the cloth you will need to rebind it to the character because if I press play now you can see the sleeve is has left the hand and it's acting weird again so you can come back press bind and save it and you can update the simulation it's going to run slower but you have more geometry and yeah 
So I think this is not bad so far. To get this piece over here, this this strip of whatever that is, you have to create that object onto it. So just make the ripples on it and all that, and then click bind on the, and that will bind that to the cloth. So if you select the cloth and press bind, it binds the cloth to the character. If you select any object and press bind, it binds that thing to the cloth. So what we want to add now is you can see the sleeves have fallen a bit too much. So we want this place kind of inflated, like filled with air. So we're going to add pressure now. So under the paint section, under pressure, we can just uh, reduce the strength and paint some pressure into the arms. So it's like we're filling it with air so it doesn't fall to gravity as much as the rest of the cloth. Can just do it lightly. And if you want to set all the weights, like reset them, you can press Ctrl X, that's in Blender 2. Point, Blender 4.0. I think it's Ctrl K for Blender 3.0 downwards. So if you want to set all the weights as a, as a weight that's there, you just press that. Then for the inflation and deflation, that's a bit different. You want to set to 0 0.5, so you just press this reset button and it will reset all the inflation on the cloth and you can start over <laughs> instead of painting everything with the weight of 0 0.5. Now to fix up um, things like this happening, so you can see in this simulation, this area has gone into her arm, this place has gone in here and the neck as well. It's because of the pinning of these areas. So when you're finally done with your animation, you want to or done with the creation of the top to make those pinning areas a bit sharper you have to apply um, these modifiers apply the mirror modifier and the subsurface modifier then in edit mode um, if you've marked this place as sharp or um, creased it you can press L to select it then under here just click on sharp or seam and then select this area as well this area as well and assign as pinning with the weight of one then you can press ctrl i and set all the rest to a weight of zero so that way we get sharper pins here and it doesn't make this area sink into the cloth so let me know in the comments if you want the next videos to be shorter or longer or whether this pace was okay i'm going to be making a few more tutorials on different clothes we can make using divine cut so thank you and take care Thanks.